as games organisers have been dealing with a controversy over sponsorship on the South Bank, an announcement was being made about the future of the Olympic site. The Olympic Legacy Company outlined plans for the reopening of the park after the Games and also for a new annual cycling event. Helena Carter was there and her report contains flashing images. Setting the wheels in motion for London's Olympic Legacy. At a conference today, Mayor Boris Johnson's team outlined plans for the city after the Olympics. And it all kicked off with the announcement of a planned world-class cycling festival to be held each year in the capital. It will take place over a weekend with a family fun ride on day one, followed by a 100-mile course for up to 35,000 more elite cyclists. Based on the London 2012 cycle road race, it aims to provide an economic boost to the capital. It's a great way of developing the industry. Um, it, uh, there's also a huge economic benefit. We tend to find that people who are out and about spend three times as much than they would if they were out on a normal day. So putting money into the shops and the local economy is fantastic. Um, and there's obviously also a sporting element. There's a health and fitness and a, and a fun run part. So we believe that really we're offering something really, really unique and something very beneficial to London. Plans to transform the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park were also revealed today. It's due to close for a year once the Olympics are over, so developments to the park can be made. We need to make some changes to the roadwork, to public footpaths. We'll be adding in a one-mile cycle circuit uh, as an addition to the Velo Park offering. Um, we've also got some transformation work to do on the legacy venues, the aquatic centre, uh, the stadium, the multi-use arena, to bring them fit and ready for their use when we open back up to the public in July 2013. Now the Mayor's team is on the lookout to find a sponsor for their cycling festival to encourage more Londoners and tourists alike to get in the saddle. Helena Carter, London Today.